Hey guys, today was a busy day, so I got my bed ready and on the road we go, hitting the road, heading down to Alligator Pan. My husband makes an arrangement with his cousin to get me up with a vendor to get some fish from her. So we're on our way down there to get our fish. But let me tell you, this is not a happy end story because honey... These Jamaicans down here, some of them, they ain't no joke. I'm telling you, they're creating their own poverty and they do, don't even know it. Now we head down there to Alligator Pan and we meet up with these vendors and I'm going to let you guys see what really took place as we continue in this video and we are off and we're on Spurgey Hill going down. In the back of this building, that's St. Elizabeth down there in the basement, in the most basement, in the basin. That's like a valley. It's like steep down there. All the heat hits you when heat lick you down in a St. Elizabeth. Let me tell you, you, you be having heat strokes down there. It's very, very hot in St. Elizabeth. All the heat just go right down there and lay right in that valley right there in St. Elizabeth. So you will be cold in Manchester once you hit right at gutters right there, man, you start feeling the heat. So as we continue to travel down, um we got to um we got to down to um Alligator Pan really quick. It was a, a really quick day. Um drive down. Um, that's the mountain like you're coming down Spurchy Hill, you're looking over in the mountain. It's still green, not in many house the houses are not extending right up in that area as yet, hopefully not, because we do need that greenery to keep us alive here on the island. So they're building up real fast, but some places are still green. That's all part over there, that's the aluminum bauxite plant. Uh, I think the Chinese is the owner of is running it now. I don't know if they're leasing or they bought it. I don't know how that situation go, but I know they are the one that is running it now. And that is located in Nain St. Elizabeth. So right over that area, that's the, in the whole area right there, that's all part. So you're looking at St. Elizabeth right in the back in that lower plane. So as we continue to go down, we um, this place is on sale. It's right at the roadside going down um, um, Spurgey. You cannot miss it. And now we hit our, into um, Alligator Pan area and we're heading right out to local Ochi, where most people know it as, as Little Ochi. A lot of vendors sell fish out there, and even some days you'll have vendors coming in to sell clothes and other items. I think it's on Saturday. Look at the goats. In the, these goats, they're not as scared of cars. Jamaican goats, they will be right in the road, and they expect you to wait on them. That's how the goats, the dogs, and all the animals operate in Jamaica when they're in the road. They are not scared of anything at all. So as we continue, we're heading right into Lake Orchard in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we are. We're there with my food town bag and my shop right bag, ready to get some fish and head back home. Now we reach in Luka Ochi now and Alligator Pan to get the fish, meet up with the lady and let me tell you something. The fish, yes, they look okay. As you will see in the video, you know, they maybe is a catch from yesterday, which is, it's fine. So we're at the very sea where the, the fisherman comes in with the fish. And that's, if you want fresh fish, fish where else should you go more than right at the sea where the fish come in so you can see if maybe the sketches from yesterday doesn't look that bad i'm fine i'll go with it but let me tell you something i don't know because every time she tried to put one in there that doesn't look good i will say no i don't want that one but i got distracted doing something and for some reason i came home with mostly rotten fish I'm telling you, man, I was so disappointed. The fish was rotten. 
you have flies in my backyard, big flies, small flies, all kind of flies you can think of in my backyard. And the place was just stinky, stinking. Man, I tried to save some so I could eat some because I spent over a lot of money. I don't even want to mention it, but we bought about 30 pounds of fish. And look at that to come home and see this. I don't know how these got in there because as I said, I got distracted and she must have pushed, shoved some of these in there. But this is how you create your own poverty because you did me like this. Don't expect me to come back and support you and buy 30 pounds of fish or more from you. So every time I need fish, you would be the person that I come to to get fish. And you did this to me and you destroyed that whole relationship that we were that we were about to have. And there you go, you will never get my business again. And this is one way you create your own poverty. Do people bad, you will never get a return customer. You have to learn to be honest and do an honest business, and that's how you'll survive in this kind of system. But when you fraud and scam, you create your own poverty because no one will be coming to you if this is the way you do business. Anyway, guys, I, will, I just thought I would share that with you guys. It seems like when I do a positive video is when I'm talking about places, animals, and things, and not people and the system here because I'm telling you it's very, very difficult. But hey... I work hard at firing and I wanted to come back home when I'm young and I'm here. I love it here and this is my home. Anyway guys, see you in the next video from the positive side of Jamaica. Bye bye for now.